everyone, I've got a bit of a cold, so I figured that instead of making a normal video, I could just play a game today. And even though I haven't quite finished Bioshock, I, I'm really curious about the Stanley Parable, so I figured maybe I could just play a little bit of that. I don't know if you guys have heard of the Stanley Parable. My brother told me a little bit about it, so I'm, I'm really curious, and he installed it for me, so let's just get started. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Huh. The voice sounds a lot like the, um, the guy from Pushing Daisies. But if there's no one here, then Stanley can just go home, no? There's a phone call, though. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I want to look around. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <coughs> the slides are nice. Nice. Oh. The broom closet. Oh, I, I can open it. Oh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, no? so he turned around and got back on track. I don't know, dude. I kind of like it in the broom closet. Is there nothing here? There was nothing here. No, no choice to make, no path <laughs> to follow. Just an empty broom closet. Okay. No reason to still be here. No, I guess not. <laughs> okay. I wish the narrator had a name. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. No. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As <laughs> it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Maybe he's gonna get angry with me. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? <laughs> standing around doing nothing? I am. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> I I don't know, dude. I'm confused also. There's no one here. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? No. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom <laughs> closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find yeah. out. 
That's it true. didn't even occur to me because literally <laughs> this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story <laughs> whatsoever. I'm sorry. I never would have thought to mention it. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Maybe I'll get out. But I like this. Maybe closet. to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> I don't talk like that. Is it Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug me. money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. I'm not. I'm not addicted to drugs and hookers. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. Okay. You're dead. No, I'm got not. to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. Yes. When a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Oi. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of mm -hmm. before it begins to decompose. Hello? Nice. Anyone who happens to be mm. nearby? The person at this computer is dead. <laughs> he or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area <laughs> and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person <laughs> video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative troops in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. It's not lost on right. me. When you've done that, just step okay. out into the hallway. Okay, okay. I, I wish you had a name. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> I'm still the same person. Oh, in the hallway. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I want to walk downstairs, but I don't think he's going to like me very much. What's here? It's over there. Maybe I can open the bathroom. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 28 four five but of course stanley couldn't possibly have known this yet incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad stanley happened to input oh. the correct code by sheer luck amazing he stepped into the newly opened passageway 